Guys, we have a brand new developer's note from the Summoner's War Cookie Run Kingdom collaboration event. I'm getting better at saying that with a straight face. If you've been paying attention to the videos on this channel for the past week, we've already covered half this stuff because some of it was already leaked. We got to see the different Summoner's War versions of the Cookie Run Kingdom monsters, which we're going to take a look at again in a second. Mostly we're going to take a look at the skills. We're going to see if there's a little couple things here and there that we didn't discuss in the previous videos. Uh, Summoner's War Dev Team, this is a little video if you guys want to check that out there just the developers are sitting around drinking tea and eating cookies and talking about cookie run kingdom very exciting video um then we have this is all actually well for the most part all of this stuff is things we already know and then just this fluff stuff it's like hey this is why we're cookie run kingdoming uh this week here's some of the monster skills let's talk about those so we got the ginger brave this is going to be the ken similar to how Ken was implemented in the Street Fighter Club. All of this is running similar to the Street Fighter Collab. We get the new scrolls. They're going to be in TOA. We get the scroll from DOA. You can get them from regular scrolls as well, like legendary scrolls, etc., etc. There's going to be the SP button. The same thing as the Street Fighter. Many of this is the same as the Street Fighter. China is also just getting these Summoner's War versions. They're not getting the Cookie Run Kingdom versions. I don't know why in this case, but... We won't. We don't need to discuss that. So, uh, Ginger Brave this is the one that everyone's going to be able to get fairly easily. Uh, ba uh, Brave Attack attacks the enemy to stun for one turn, fifty percent chance with the default skill. Uh, they did mention. Each cookie of Cookie Run Kingdom has an original skill with a basic attack. To implement this feature to Summoner's Ward, we designed the basic attack motions as the first skill. The original skill is the second skill, so it can be used more widely. And then remaining skills were designed newly as our team did our best to create the skills while retaining the original concept of the characters. Which means that when we were theory crafting in the other video, a lot of that stuff is actually going to be fairly accurate. Because we were just theory crafting based on the skills in Cookie Run and reading those off. And they're just trying to directly translate a lot of that stuff. So, some of these are going to be very similar. Uh, Brave Dash, Marsh, <laughs> maybe not this one. Because didn't he have an AoE before? I think he had an AoE. Ginger Brave had an AoE in Cookie Run Kingdom. So, this is already false. Um, marches bravely to attack an enemy, removing one beneficial effect and increasing the cooldown by one turn. So, that wouldn't be very exciting unless... Uh, the third skill, Bravest Cookie Passive, your attack speed increases, your HP condition is better, and your attack power increases, your HP condition is worse. You guys gotta think about this, similar to the Water Sky Surfer, where the Water Sky Surfer is super, super fast, based on all the buffs at the beginning of the battle, so he could even take turn one, and then strip and stun the, uh, one of the opponent's monsters. So this one, attack speed increases, your HP condition is better. HP condition is going to be the best at the very beginning of the match, so he's going to have very high attack speed at the beginning of the match, which means he's gonna go first. We'll see how good his base speed is, we'll see how, how, how good his speed is after his HP condition status passive comes into effect. But I can imagine this guy is going to counter Cleaves pretty hard. We will see. It's going to be pick Leo and pick Ginger Brave. Well, actually, pick Leo and pick Ginger Brave. That might... It, you got two counters to uh, fast, aggressive. To basically nullify your opponent's uh, swift units, right? Or at least that's the theory. You got pure vanilla cookie. So this one... Uh, attacks, this, this one's a reviver. Attacks the enemy's target or uh, recovers the HP of the ally with the lowest HP ratio by 10% of your max HP. By the way, there's not just going to be one element of each. Uh, it looks like there's pro there's going to be one element of the Ginger Brave and then multiple elements of the rest of the one. That's what, uh, I don't know if it says directly in here. I, it says directly that there are going to be multiple elements of all of them, but I don't know if it says directly that there's going to be only one of Ginger Brave. We'll take a look at that in a second, just in case I glanced over it. But people are saying there's only going to be one element of Ginger Brave, so... Um, we got the Love and Peace, second skill for the Pure Vanilla Cookie. This is the one that we mentioned was going to be closest to Louise, or in theory, when we took a look at the skills in um, Cookie Run Kingdom. <laughs> Kick and run kingdom. Uh, so I gotta just remind myself sometimes. Um, we mentioned that she was probably going to be closer to, or he was got probably going to be closer to Louise um, with that skill. So illuminates all allies with the vanilla organ staff, recovering 15% of their HP, creating a shield equal to 15% of your max HP. So that is kind of similar to Louise's third skill. Uh, then we have Light of Truth. This grants invincibility and immunity to the ally target for two turns. Recess the cooldown time. If the skill is used on a dead ally, and the ally will be revived with little HP, cooldown time will be increased by two turns additionally, but grants the same effect when used on... This kind of reminds me of, like, a mix between the light... I feel like people are just going to complain that this is not a passive, because 
in Summoner's War nowadays. It's like we need passive revives, otherwise things can just get cooled down. So everyone just wants, because Nana, right? In the Nana meta, it's just about passive, well, Nana, uh, Perna, Vanessa. So anything that has revives that you actually have to use, like a Ladrail, like, I don't even remember off the top of my head whether units have uh, pass revives that you actually have to use that are on cooldowns because we don't use them. That's why. So I think that people might complain that this is uh, this actually can just get cooldown and then you don't have to worry about it. So this could be a nice combination with Mo Long because you have invincibility and immunity and also in uh, decrease the cooldowns. So that could be that could be a fun combination. But I think that ultimately people are going to complain that this is not uh, this is not some kind of passive integration. We have Holly Berry Cookie. We already talked about Holly Berry Cookie and the other one. She is a defense type unit. Um, she does first skill attacks the enemy provoke one turn 50% chance attack will deal more damage according to your defense second skill escorts the ally with the lowest HP for three turns charges fearlessly towards the enemy target with the holly berry shield deals damage that increases according to your defense on the selected target and stuns for one turn and then the holly berry shield third skill with the power of holly berry shield decreases the damage that your allies take by 200% of your defense until the next turn starts. You gain immunity to inability effects during this time. Kind of like a Darien kind of situation. Well, I mean, the very OP uh, version of Darien. It was a five star, but... Uh, and it's also, she's a defense type unit, so... Uh, we have Espresso. So Espresso Cookie actually seems pretty cool, right? The other ones is like, okay, the support units, they're not very cool looking units uh, necessarily. Like, people don't usually get crazy about like oh i really like playing with these support you now people gonna disagree with me they're kind of like no i really like playing with riley okay it's i i i understand the love for riley uh she's so oh my god she's so toxic flying coffee beans attacks the enemy to prevent from receiving beneficial effects for two turns with a 30 percent chance low chance pretty strong debuff but low chance Grinding attacks all enemies three times with a giant whirlwind to reduce. This is the one we were mentioning like, oh, I kind of feel like she's going to be similar to Alicia, maybe Poseidon. So attacks all enemies three times, giant whirlwind, reducing their attack bar 20% each. Attacks them once more to stun for one turn with a 30% chance. And I was just saying that based on the cookie run kingdom skills. So this is kind of similar to Alicia's third skill. Multi-hit, not reduce attack bar, but it does uh, stun where she freezes. Then we have blending. This one's interesting. Attacks all. So this is a four star, by the way. So the other ones were five stars. These ones, these last two, are four stars, which we also predicted just by taking a look at the cookie run versions and seeing the rarities of those and saying, well, if those ones are less rare, then these ones are probably going to be less rare in Summoner's War as well, which was a correct assumption. Espresso Cookie and Madeline Cookie are both four stars. So. We have uh, blending attacks all enemies three times, evens out the ratio of HP and attack bar on all enemies except for the boss. That I feel could be more beneficial than we give it credit for. There are some instances where I'm like, this would have been really, really helpful, especially with things on uh, on Nemesis. Uh, and then we have Madeline Cookie, the last one. And these are all these are all just one element. Of course, you guys can see that, but. These are all just one element. We'll see if maybe some of the other elements are super ridiculous OP broken or absolute garbage. That should be fun to uh, complain about later. Uh, glorious attack for the Battle Line Cookie Attack. I mean, decreased attack bar 30% with a 30% chance. Commander's Honor calls upon the Celestial Light while under Celestial Light. Glorious attack. So this is, we should probably mention these opposite because... The Angel's Blessing passive can activate the Commander's Honor. Kind of like how the water... Shadowcaster can activate his second skill with his passive. So Angel's Blessing passive offsets the incoming damage that may cause you to die, removes all harmful effects, and uses Commander's Honor instantly. Uh, Commander's Honor second skill calls upon Celestial Light while under Celestial Light. Glorious Attack will attack all enemies and you'll be immune to inability effects. The Celestial Light gets dismissed when you take 50% of your max HP as damage in total. So this could be kind of like a Samoth situation where Samoth dies, comes back from the dead, does big damage, Madeline Cookie... Uh, offsets damage incoming uh, offsets incoming damage that may cause you to die removes harmful effects and uses commander's honor which does an aoe attack so that could be i don't know how much damage this aoe attack is going to do considering he's probably going to be a tanky unit um but we'll see although it gets dismissed uh no never mind i i was reading something different uh unique cookies may be cute but their skills are on a different level 
For instance, Holly Bear Cookie with defense skills may come fresh and interesting to many of you. We only have shared one tribute for each. We already mentioned that. So we have a new collab dungeon, which apparently you get extra benefits if you use Cookie Run Kingdom units in this collab dungeon, uh, which we already took a look at previously. They said it's going to be a continuous dungeon, kind of like an idle RPG situation, which we already commented on. They also did a video on their channel as well, commenting on that. Uh, Red Velvet Dragon will appear as the final boss through an update in September. Stay, stay tuned uh, to find out how the Red Velvet Dragon will look in Summoner's War. They're, this thing better look really crazy because they're not showing it. So, uh, dungeon from guild content in Cookie Run Kingdom appear in single dungeon in Summoner's War. I don't think they even mention what specifically you get in here unless I glanced over it and I'm stupid. Don't answer that question. We already know what you're going to say. Bear Jelly Balloon available in the Sky Island during the collab period, so that should be a fun little shop for us. Yes, but we just had this landing pad for years. <laughs> like, okay, you used it once, and then you're gonna use it again, right? At some point? No, you're not? Okay, okay. So, uh, I think for the most part, all this other stuff. Cookies will appear in Trial of Ascension, which we already mentioned. Summoner X will appear as Arena Rival. I don't think that's really too crazy. Uh, collab schedule, and... How to obtain the collab cookies. We can see the collab schedule. They keep saying our target date is August 29th. Which means they're like, we want to see when the other games release things. And then we're going <laughs> to release this whenever they release their stuff. So that you guys don't play that game. How to co obtain collab cookies is the same as usual. And then we also have the Cookie Run Kingdom scroll. Which is the same stipulations as the Street Fighter scroll. Default 4 or 5 star monsters. You're going to get a whole ton of 4 stars. And then maybe every so often... Uh, managed to pull a five star. So, Summoner's War Original Monsters. You guys told me I was wrong about this. You're like, that can't be right. I'm like, that's not really my opinion. I'm showing you. I'm just showing you. This was leaked information from uh, from someone in China for the uh, the monsters there. So, I don't know why you thought I was wrong about this, but Choco Knight, Black Tea Bunny, Macaron Guard, Pudding Prince. I was going to say Pudding Princess. Like She's not a golf unit. Lollipop Lollipop Warrior. Wow, guys. Summoner's War has come a long way in uh, eight years. We got the Lollipop Warrior. It's finally time. Uh, original losses and collab cookies have different appearance and skill effects, but same skills and stats, which we already... It's the same thing as the Street Fighter. Again, when in doubt, just think it's the same thing as Street Fighter. So, not that that's a bad thing, you know? If it worked one time, don't change... It. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So if the Street Fighter collab went well in terms of, like, how it actually was designed, then doing things the exact same way for the Cookie Run Kingdom. If that wasn't broken, then doesn't need to be changed. Uh, collab special. So this is actually kind of interesting. No, this is not what I thought. It was, it was, a uh... no, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay, so the collab special events will not only have rich rewards such as Cookie Run Kingdom collab scroll, Devamon Legendary Scroll collab, exclusive building where you can place the cookies, but also a little more special reward. This you want to probably use on dragons and, you know, we'll see in a second. It's a type of buff item that will allow you to pick the rune set option that dropped in the Kairos dungeon. So it's a Violet Room Farming Dungeon Tool item. When you use this item, you'll be able to decide which rune set type you'll be getting from a certain dungeon for one hour. We hope that we hope you will enjoy the collab content while farming the runes you've been in need of. This is this is how you finally get Violet Runes. Finally. I mean, the, you, you can argue they already have the same thing in rune crafting, but you know, the rune crafting runes are all garbage. So this is like, you pay attention to that dungeon and farm your brains out for an hour and then you don't have to farm for the rest of the week guys high five oh no okay uh yeah <laughs> so so there's that wait no Pega, you said it you said i don't have to farm for the rest of the week as long as i farm for that one hour that's what half you guys farm all week anyway tell me you don't not that you get anything out of farming anyway but maybe you might maybe get something now maybe <laughs> We'll see. So this is just uh, collab monsters are available during the uh, the special event. And then after the collab is over, everyone gets original monsters and China server doesn't get anything fun anyway. China's like, good, we didn't even want cookies to begin with. Anyway, that's it for this one. This video is already longer than it ever needed to be because we already discussed half this stuff already. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you as always in the next one.